Hi there. So I'm doing an add-on uh, video to the Simpson TV. I, I got some really nice comments, thanks for that, in the previous video where people were asking about modifications and how I did them. So I'll, I'll try and go through those uh, now. This is this is Tinkercad. This is where I did some modifications of the original files. Uh, the, these ones at the top are just uh, previous versions as, I, as I'm sort of making changes. Uh, but the blue one is the finished one. So the changes uh, added the vent holes, as I said in the other video. Uh, moved the speaker grill 0.5 to one side because it was slightly off center for some reason. Uh, but the main bit is the uh, the lithium charger platform here, which I've gone for the um, very standard 18650 charging board. Uh, these things have been around for a long time and they're they're reliable and cheap. So I got mine from AliExpress, but they're they're pretty much the same wherever you get them at eBay. Uh, but obviously they're very cheap from AliExpress. So I went for the USB, uh, sorry, the micro USB type. I suppose most people these days would go for the C type, but because we're I'm plugging in an adapter, it doesn't really matter. So the magnetic cable that I used I got from eBay, and uh, these are very ubiquitous. I mean they're everywhere. Uh, eBay, AliExpress, Amazon, and uh, just bought one of these, the micro USBs plug into that. So that's pretty much the back box. There's a small hole there for the uh, piece of, um, I used Strimmer line just as a, a light tunnel. Um, but that's the back box and it will, as I said, it's the same dimensions as the original. I've not made it any bigger or smaller. So there's uh, no problem fitting on the original faceplate to that. This is the th this orange thing is a battery uh, platform basically. Uh, just stuck it on the back of the screen just to give me a bit of bit almost a flat surface to uh, stick on the battery. Uh, battery I used was the five 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 zero six zero. These aren't really that easy to get a hold of to be honest. I'm, I'm not really recommending it. Um, you can only really get them from AliExpress. Uh, so you could try something of a similar size. Obviously, this is uh, 55 millimeters by 50 millimeters by uh, 6 millimeters. Uh, something similar that you could get elsewhere. But anyway, they, I mean, they are available on uh, AliExpress. I'm just saying they, they take a lot because they have to be shipped in a certain way. They do take sort of four or five weeks to come in. <clears throat> But those are the ones. Those are the ones that I bought from AliExpress. So onto the screen, um, the screen stuff. So this is the molds. This is the molding stuff, and I will be up uploading these to Thingiverse as well. This is the how I made the sort of PETG um, screen, basically. So I used. 0 0.5 millimeter clear PTG sheet, which I bought from Amazon. Uh, people do want kind of too much money for them. But generally an A4 sheet will cost you between, I'm not going to do it in dollars, five or 10 pounds. <laughs> uh, let's say $10, uh, which is quite a lot of money really. But um, anyway, if you need it, you need it. So I created the this is the cutter, as it were, although it doesn't actually cut. And then the this bit is what you place the sheet of PETG on, heat it up, and then press down using the cutter on there. Now this thing, uh, because of the limitations of Tinkercad, I couldn't get this all that rounded. So this is the best I could do. The front's very rounded, but the sides are a little bit, a um, little bit rough. So you do have to file this down with sandpaper, and you do have to do a reasonable job of it. <laughs> so just a warning. I mean, if somebody can do this better, I'm going to be uploading these to Thingiverse, and if somebody can do a better job, that's 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 fine. But uh, that's what I used. Oh yeah, this is the best I can do with regards to filming this. Uh, sorry if it's not uh, perfect, really. Uh, so these are the these are the screens, and uh, you know they came out all right. These are kind of I'm very fussy, so these have slight imperfections on them. 
uh, but I, I suppose most people you can't even really see the problems on on camera so it does work but just a warning this is not really the way you should do things because this is PLA which obviously deforms when heated so the fact that this worked at all is kind of miraculous really I wasn't expecting it to and actually you can just about see that that has started to warp out of shape uh, but it didn't for the first couple of runs so it, it you could get this to work really this should be out of a different material this these both should be out of a more higher temperature material or possibly a plaster mold um, but I'm into like whatever works you know so I'll just whiz through this this is the sheet of uh, PETG and I've got a bit left so I'll just uh, nice thing about this just cut it with a pair of scissors I don't have to be too particular about the cut okay so there's my sheet of PTG as I said the, the, I wasn't expecting this to work but what happens is when you put the heat gun on it the PETG kind of deflects the heat from the PLA a little bit <laughs> just enough so that this thing doesn't start melting away uh, as I said it's all would really be better off making this thing out of um, something else um, <clears throat> as I said previously as well you need to 3d print this but then I spent a long time sanding this is very very smooth um, if you take this straight off the free off the ender or whatever you're using and try and form this stuff straight onto it you're going to get lines and it's going to look terrible so to get a good result like these you have to do uh, a good lot of sanding to it so um, I found the best way of uh, getting this to work was to take one side one side off one protective layer off as I said, I'm going to attempt this on camera. If it doesn't work, well, tough luck, really. And then obviously put the protective side down on the PLA, the PLA mould. Uh, the reason is, any perfections in this, this sheet should help stop that coming through. Also, stop maybe some more heat going into the PLA mould. <clears throat> anyway, this is a cheap heat gun that I'm using I think I was less than like ten dollars from Amazon <laughs> it's the only heat gun I got so it's gonna be a bit noisy I'm just gotta get it up to temperature starting to crinkle up now Bit annoying really but <laughs> as you can see this isn't the best way to do things I'm trying to apply some heat for the other side actually I suppose you could do the initial heating away from the PLA mold Right. Kind of get in there. Problem with this is I I can't really see where I'm supposed to hit. So we give it a go. So oh, that was a bit, there's some luck involved here, you just hold it and I uh, hope you got a good one. That should be right. I mean that feels pretty good. And there it is. 
just shows you don't really need a lot of fancy equipment to, to get a result that you want. Cheap old heat gun, and uh, all I'll do is I'll just trim that. I'm pretty uh, pretty happy with that. It looks okay. That's I would say that's completely usable. So what you need to do. Yeah, I think that's fine. Just sort of mark around the screen to get some of the excess off. This is not particularly, uh, doesn't need to be too good, but uh, you need a, a little bit of overhang, obviously, to, I glued the screen, that screen, these, this into the, No, I can't really show you, but uh, I glued that onto the back of the uh, faceplate using Araldikes, which is my particular method, but I'm, I assume hot glue might do it. Well, that might actually cause some warping, so maybe that's not such a good idea. But anyway, I used Araldite and it worked fine. You just trim down the excess. Um, uh, that looks pretty good. I think that's usable. Can't see any problems with it. I mean, this mold's getting... <laughs> well, it's still doing the job. So. As I said, that's the way I did it, and it works for me. Um, if you wanted to give it a go, I'll stick the files up on Thingiverse and uh, give it a shot. But uh, just be aware that it's very... Uh, probably, <laughs> it's not the right way to do it, but it, it works. Okay, thanks for watching.